Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today we're actually going to go and see Oceans at the End of the Lane at the Lowry for the press night. So we've kindly been invited to the press night by the Lowry. I'm really excited. I don't know anything about this show and because I knew we were going I haven't looked up anything. I want to be a complete surprise so I don't know the story but I've heard that it's supposed to be really good so I'm really looking forward to it. Lawrence is actually coming with me today. He's actually able to come. And yes, I'm really excited. So the show starts at half seven. It's about quarter past six now, so we need to head out. Don't know where we're sat today because we get our tickets once we arrive. And yeah, it should be a really good show. So obviously I will show you the mer any merch that they've got. I'll show you our view from our seat. And then obviously I will review the show for you when I get home. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this little vlog. Hi, so we've just arrived here at the Lowry, well, just across the water from it, we're just going to walk over the bridge, and yeah, we're just going to head in now, Dad just dropped us off, and yeah, we're just going to head over, I think it's like quarter to seven now, she hasn't start to half seven, so we've got time to pick up our tickets, I think there's a, we can have a festive drink, they said, before the show starts, and yeah, I don't know where we're sat yet, so we're going to go pick up tickets first, find out where we're sat, and I'll get back to you once we're inside. So we're just in the theatre now, just need to go and collect our tickets, we've not done that yet. Just going to head to the press desk, collect our tickets and find out where we're sat. Okay, so we've just come in from row, from door B and we're on row G. So this is for G. So we're seats 21, 22. So right in the middle. So this is our view from our seats. So we're in. I'm on seat 22 on row G. So yeah, really good view. And yeah, there's loads of leg room in this seat as well. So it is now the interval. The show is so good. Visual effects are amazing. We've really enjoyed it. I think Lawrence has really enjoyed it as well. Just gonna go now and get our interval drink and then I'll let you know what we think of it. So Lawrence, what 
What do you think of it? Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah, I loved it. Visual, very good. Oh, so so good. The sound to it. Great. Definitely recommend it. Obviously, I'll speak more about it when we get home, but Lawrence has to head to bed when we get back, so he might be able to review it. Water. Hi, so I'm now back from the theatre. Lawrence has had to go straight to bed because he's in work at 4am tomorrow, so he is on, off to bed. But I thought I'd just tell you a bit about the show. So I was kindly gifted my tickets by the Lowry for the press night. Um, we were ended up sitting in the stalls. We are on row G, seat 21 and 22, so we were bang smack in the middle of a row. Our view from there was absolutely amazing. We had an absolutely amazing view. I'm not sure how much the tickets are usually for there, I'm not sure, um, but the view was absolutely amazing and there was loads of leg room as well, they were really really good seats. So there was some merch for the show, they had the programmes which I think were £5, I got my programme gifted because I was invited for the press night, I'll show you the programme. So. So that was the program. I think they were five pounds, and I have to say the quality of the Lara programs are really good. The pa the paper's really really thick, and they just feel really good quality. Like when they go to um, the Opera House or the Palace, their programs on just don't feel as good quality as these ones. So yeah, the Lara's programs are really good. So they also had magnets, which I did actually buy one of, and that was three pounds. We also have t-shirts, I think they were £25, hoodies which I think were £45, a tote bag which I think was £12, it had a notebook, I think it had a bookmark, a mug which I think was £12, uh, a CD, a vinyl and the book as well, you could buy that there as well. That's all the merch. So I actually didn't know anything about the play, I'd heard it was really good but I didn't know the story didn't really know anything about it. So it is the National Theatre's adaptation of the novel by Neil Gurman and it was directed by Katie Rudd and if you don't know anything about the story I'll give you a very brief um, very brief overview of the story. So a monstrous entity called the Flea enters our world through the hand of the show's protagonist who doesn't, isn't, doesn't have a name, he's just referred to as the boy. So when the entity emerges into our world, it takes the form of a beautiful uh, woman who becomes the boy's family's new lodger, and she then tries to seduce the boy's widowed father. The boy, with his new friend Lottie, then try to send the flea back to where it came from. So his friend Lottie has sort of like magical powers, um, so she tries to help him send the flea back to where it came from. And that is the basic story. It's also about the relationship between the boy and his father, um, about friendship. Um, so there's a lot of, other than the sci-fi, uh, scary bits, it also has like a lot of heart in it. It's a really lovely piece of theatre. I think it's probably one of the best pieces of theatre I've actually ever seen. I mean, 
the lighting was amazing i thought the use of lighting in this was excellent um i think the lighting design let me just check as paul constable and it was just it was really good i really enjoyed all the lighting effects um also there's a lot of like illusion bits in it as well they were done by jamie harrison and there was and the set design was also excellent really enjoyed the set design uh the set designer was was fly davis also there was use of puppets in this show as well the puppets were some of the puppets were stunning and um, they had little puppets to represent the um the protagonist the boy and uh letty and they, they were really really good um and so the puppet designer was samuel weir where samuel weir um and yeah the puppets were really good the play itself was visually stunning absolutely amazing the story was excellent uh, when we first walked into the theater and you saw the, the set um it just looked really creepy and really spooky and really set the scene for the play okay so i'll now go through the program and show you the cast and talk about the cast as well okay so this is the program so it just says the National Theatre is the ocean at the end of the lane. And it's on the line from the 12th of December till the 8th of January. And if we look inside, we've got some adverts. More adverts. And then we get on to the information about the show. So here it tells you the company. So, playing Ursula, who is the flea, was Charlie Brooks. Uh, I know Charlie Brooks from like EastEnders, she's been in that. And I thought she was excellent as Ursula, I thought she was really, really good. Really enjoyed her performance as Ursula. The alternate boy was Dan Daniel Cornish, so we didn't actually get to see him. Um, the person who was playing the boy for ours was Kia Oglevy, I'm sorry if that's wrong, um, he's the one that played the boy and he was excellent, he did a really good performance as the boy. To be honest the entire cast gave excellent performance, they weren't a single weak cast member, they were all absolutely brilliant. The dad was played by Trevor Fox, Letty Hempstock was played by Millie Hikasa, Hikasa I think her name is, Jeannie Hempstock was played by Kemi Bo. Jacobs, um, the lodger was played by Ronnie Lee, policewoman by Amy McGoldrick, the sister was played by Laurie Ogden, uh, the policeman was played by Dominic Ramsden, and old Mrs. Hemstock by Finty Williams. Then you have your understudies. It's got some information about the opening of the show. Um, when the show is set, so it says it's set in 1983, and then nowish, and then it says the length of the show, so it's two hours, included a 20 minute interval. And then here you've got all your creative team here. So you've got a little article here, which is a note from Neil Gaiman, who wrote the book. You've got some rehearsal shots. And then you've got the cast biographies here. So you've got Charlie Brooke and some of the stuff that she's done. Daniel Cornish, who's the alternate boy. Trevor Fox, who played the dad. And then the rest of the cast. Some more rehearsal shots. Yeah. 
this is um, more about the creative team, some more rehearsal shots, Got your production credits. And then you've got some more adverts. And that is the program. And yeah, I just really loved it. I thought the story was excellent. Really enjoyed it. Obviously, it's like a fantasy story. It has monsters in it. Um, and the puppets for the monsters was really good. I just really enjoyed it. Lawrence as well, he absolutely loved it. Um, and yeah, I just can't recommend the show enough. If it's if it's coming somewhere near you, you really need to get a ticket and go and see this. You won't be disappointed. Um, i definitely give this show five stars. Easily a five star show, this one. Um, like I said, definitely get a ticket if you can. It is on tour, so I'll leave the link down below. Um, to the, to the show's website so you can check out if it's coming to a theatre near you. Um, I'll also link below the Lowry's website because it's on at the Lowry till the 8th of January so you've still got time to get tickets and go. Definitely recommend it if you live um, in the Manchester Salford area or even the surrounding areas travel down and see it because it's amazing. You will absolutely love it. The music in this was great as well. It was really haunting, fit really well. Um, with the show all the music was really good so yeah like i said it's on at the out lowry till the 8th of january definitely go and see it if you can i would love to go and see it again but i just don't think we're going to get a chance to but yeah absolutely amazing the show i would definitely say it's maybe one of maybe the best thing that i've seen this this year and obviously i've seen a lot of theater this year and i just really loved that obviously usually i don't see musicals i do see plays but not very often but yeah this was this was really good and yeah probably going to say the best thing that I've seen this year so I hope you have enjoyed this little review of this vlog so I hope you've enjoyed this little theatre vlog um, I do do lots of theatre vlogs on this channel I've still got my Lion King one to go up uh, I also went to see Room on the Brew with my children I have that review to come up and hopefully I should have some more shows coming up in the new year as well. So if you do enjoy theatre vlogs, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. And you'll be notified as soon as any new vlogs go up. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.